Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 19, and I wanted to talk quickly about kind of how to give your video kind of an old filmic look. Halloween just came by, and it reminded me of a video I made a long time ago with some friends. Uh, it's kind of creepy. It's supposed to be creepy. Uh, but we're not going to watch the video. We're just going to kind of edit some of the effects on it uh, to, to give it that kind of old school a grainy film vibe uh, and, and some effect ways to do that in Vegas. So a lot of times what a lot of people do, this is kind of the first option uh, and the easiest option to be honest. Uh, they just grab a sapia tone maybe, like an old photograph tone and they throw it on there and they call it a day. I don't think that's a good solution so we're not doing that. Um, but then there's another, uh, an, another option. You can go to Film effects, which is a very uh, normal thing to do, maybe grab uh, different kinds of film. Uh, a lot of times people grab the very old film, and they throw it on here, and then wow, that is some uh, effects done on it, right? Uh, and the way this one works is uh, you can enable, you can go through and enable or disable different kinds of particles uh, and things, and it gives like a fake jitter and stuff. And this is 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 nice, but it really is extreme. It puts a tent on it too, so we're going to re remove the tent, uh, convert to grayscale. That's what makes it black and white. It adds a film grain uh, on onto it that's randomly generated, and it adds a certain amount of tint or whatever. Uh, so if you use this one, I recommend doing kind of what I did, uh, kind of lower the grain. Um, I wouldn't use the jitter, or if you do have jitter, um, be very like very low on the amount of jitter. Uh, this is the amount, obviously, that you can do of each one of these things, and you cycle through them. Uh, so scratches, uh, I would actually go very, very low on the scratches because they start to look repetitive if you do a whole bunch. Um, and uh, dust, mm, yeah, maybe with dust, let's let's do just a little bit. You just need to kind of really back off. On all these different little film effects here uh, and that will definitely sell your effect a lot better um, it still doesn't have a film look the widescreen's fine you can pretend it was anamorphic depending on the time period you're trying to do um, but we're going to talk about a couple of more tricks to make it kind of look old filmic so uh, this one I'm going to get rid of it uh, but before I do I want to show you the key to making your your video actually look old and actually look like film is solid dark blacks because film was really good at making black stuff look really black the darks always look really dark there's none of this digital like fake black kind of stuff and so that's what will really sell it so if you go to your levels plugin and we grab the default and throw it on here and we go to the input start and darken it like a fair bit and then brighten up the brights a fair bit that increase of contrast there, and we can put that before the film effects, that increase of contrast will actually really help give it more of an old filmic look because that that um, black and white look, that black and white film look really needs a high contrast. So we're gonna get rid of the film effects right now. Uh, and we're just gonna go with that black and white look um, with that heavier, that heavier, you can see some codecking, this wasn't well preserved older video like I said um, but that really higher contrast look uh, really does help pull out that film feel so if we built this from scratch a third way to do this if we built this from scratch we get that higher contrast look let's go to black and white and let's get 100% black and white and so this, see, black and white just alone, I'm going to remove levels and just show you black and white alone. A lot of people just do that, and that doesn't quite work either. You definitely need that higher contrast with it to really kind of pull that black and white out. And you can dial this in to get it where you need it to be uh, to make it kind of fit better. Um, and so there we go. That's two of it. Now there's one more effect, film grain. Uh, film grain is nice because you can put a subtle film grain on it. Uh, and this one, you can kind of control its granularity. Let's make it a little more granular. This is like a dark, low, SI, low ISO film. Um, and you can change the amount, too. But we're, we're going to kind of lower the amount, but higher the granularness to it. We're not The chromaticity is the uh, color affecting. We're going to leave that zero because this is a black and white film. And uh, now let's give it a look and see how it looks here. So this this one actually really does help kind of pull out some of that 
old film look with a little more subtlety. Um, so it doesn't do the scratches and things like that, but it does look like a little more fresher old film. So that's a third way to do it, depending on what look you're going for. One last thing, if you go to your vent pan crop, I need to fix my buttons here. Usually you'll see a button right here. Um, my daughter smacked my keyboard and I got rid of the buttons and I didn't fix it before in the tutorial, sorry. Um, you go to your video event pan crop uh, and if you change this to 4x3 aspect ratio you can use this to pan uh, and kind of manually fix anything that might not be uh, centered just right but uh, with the 4x3 aspect ratio here uh, this is kind of your last bit to sell it and you can use that with any of the methods I showed before um, but that's just if you really want to kind of get that older school vibe uh, so uh, thanks for watching I know this video is a little weird and creepy but it's a lot of fun it was a lot of fun to make years ago um, thanks to all my friends who helped me make it years ago thank you because uh, I certainly did not do this one alone and uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you out. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I will see you guys next time.